kind of we did this a few weeks ago with the 2020 class just because they evolved so quickly um real quick justin jefferson that's the guy who i wanted the 49ers to get and so now that the 49ers have brandon Ayuk, i'm, I'm still happy even though they didn't get justin jefferson but God, yeah i just wanted to throw i just wanted to stunt real quick and say that was my guy um mm, you could check my twitter i have it history stamped on it um but these receivers from the 2019 class dk metcalf aj brown debo samuel terry mclaurin it's kind of why i brought this up as well as hollywood brown those are probably the top five guys if you want to mention somebody else but let's go ahead and rank the top three just to make it a little tougher on you both i mean i i go dk aj terry those are my three yeah they're, i mean all three are hard available. Hard. yeah i mean that's that's it they're, hard to not, not, yeah. to, not to shit on debo but he broke his foot right. you know that doesn't yeah. that doesn't help him hollywood hollywood brown has been hurt um, Jalen Rager hasn't played like this. Like there's so yeah. many. Oh, Jalen Rager was this year though. Jalen Rager was this year. JJ, Ray, JJ yeah. Arcega, yeah. White side. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking of. Oh you know. God, that was awful. It was a bad pick. Um, <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, you know the, the top um, three. The top three: DJ, AJ, DK, AJ, and then um, Terry. And then then I'd probably go Debo at four. Yeah. Um, and then you kind of have to. I guess you just pick whatever for five. I don't really care for Hollywood Brown to be quite honest. He's all right. I yeah. mean, he's not. He's Nikhil, not Hollywood no Nikhil Harry's. Nikhil Harry's oh. probably a bust. Yeah, he made a nice catch. Not, uh, he, he made a nice catch last night. You know, you know, and I, yeah. Nikhil Harry. It, you know, the Boston radio and people in Boston, they they think he might be the biggest bust in Belichick draft history. Like he's just that bad. So mm. he doesn't look good. I don't know if you guys watched him on Thursday night. He he looks terrible. Like yeah, he, he made that one catch, bad. but I was saying I was saying that joking around. Like that's just how bad he looked. And you know, you know what it is too yeah. is um you know after he got his lights put out too. You know, like he he didn't want to come back quickly. Like that's another thing too. Like that that really affects him. Like he's always been a guy who's been vocal about you know uh concussions and, and um brain health and things like that. So like he you know he's been slowed up by a lot of things, man. It's it's been yeah. strange. Yeah, I'm probably I'm on the fence between AJ Brown or DK at one just because mm-hmm. i love what aj brown can do after the catch um i know so. who's five miko hardman will be five yeah i mean it doesn't get mentioned enough hardman probably See, is five. Th- that's so weird man do, do, was i on with you guys when we were talking about that with uh hardman like they literally drafted him because they thought tyreek hill was just going to be suspended like forever you know like it was it wasn't even necessarily like he was a fit for them or like like they literally just wanted a guy who did what Tyree Kill did and they don't even use him. Like they don't yeah. even use him now. Like it's so weird, man. Like I don't know. Like the like they panicked because I guess they they thought whatever was coming down from the NFL and they wanted to get ahead of it, but I don't know, man. They could have had it. I mean, thank God they didn't get somebody who probably be more impactful. I remember yeah, I mean, he caught a ball last year on a crossing route mm-hmm. and he had probably five players around him, five defenders. And it was like if Somebody just put him on fast forward because I've never seen somebody just oh, so zoom fast. past five yeah. defenders so damn fast. It was it was insane. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Yeah, he's he's something else. And you know, the other guy that probably comes that should come up, Deontay Johnson out of Pittsburgh, probably he's in the conversation. Right. Um, if he cuts out the drops, if he cuts out the drops, then he's really good, man. And he's being targeted at like a high level. But I did a know, deep dive on that Steelers team yesterday. Just kind of, I don't know what I was doing. I just started dig, digging into the Steelers numbers. Steelers, they're not very good. No, they aren't. Right. No. So, but yeah, that, that's probably that's part of that. But you know, Jalen Hurd, he might be. Never mind. <laughs> Come on, pain. why? Pain. Why? Pain. No, uh, uh, champagne, <laughs> but no sham. But uh, I was going to say is, isn't it interesting that they took Hollywood Brown, the Ravens, they're built, they're supposed to be kind of these blue collar, just smash you in the mouth, run offense, and they took the one guy who cannot block, cannot really win short, uh, wins deep. I, yeah. Imagine if they had Debo instead of Hollywood Brown on that team. That yeah, that would be more option. dangerous. Be better yeah, yeah. That would be way sure. more dangerous. Or even AJ sure. Brown as well. So I'm going to go... Just to stick it to Seattle fans, AJ Brown, Decaf, Metcalf, Decaf, Metcalf, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go Debo. I'm 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 gonna be straight Homer. I don't I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna go Debo over Terry McLaurin, and partially that is 
he hasn't been given the opportunity to win downfield. Yeah, Terry McLaurin's quarterbacks have been pretty bad that he's had, and he's lit it up. He's a team captain already. Um, I think that says more about what they have on that roster. But I'm going to go with Debo because if you put Debo in a more ideal offense that he's proven he could moss guys. He made Marcus Peters look like an undrafted free agent when they were at Baltimore last year. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna go with Debo at three. That's yeah. That's, I mean, it's fair. I don't think you can go that, wrong with three or four. Mm-mm. That's the thing, right? Like, I mean, I think anything, any reason that we have Debo lower, it isn't because of him. It's because of one availability and two how he's being utilized. Like, I, I keep telling you guys, when I say that Debo Samuel can do more, it's because I know he can run routes down the field. Like, seriously, like that's I'm not like. I know, uh, I know that people, you know, say all the time, yeah, well, this is how he was. He wasn't brought in here to be a line, a line of scrimmage catch guy. They're just He's utilizing not. him that way. Yeah, like I don't understand why that, where that myth came from. Just because a guy can do it doesn't mean that you're going to spam that. He can do so much more in addition to that. That's supposed to unlock other things. It's not supposed to be the constant. So, like, I, I hate that argument about, yeah, he was brought here to do jet sweeps and the catches behind him. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was not. Uh, he, they're just that's just the offense adapting to whatever is around him right now and trying to get the best out of what they can. Yeah, absolutely. Nice job. Extension of the run game. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. 